Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. We have a lot to talk about this morning with a very heavy rain and strong wind event on the way for tonight on through tomorrow morning. But first, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification button down there that allows you to know when I'm uploading the latest video discussions. So, we start off this morning with kind of a balmy type of atmosphere in place. You can clearly feel the moisture that's in the atmosphere. Temperatures range from the mid 60s to lower 70s throughout the region. We have a southerly wind around five to 15 miles per hour that's gonna be increasing to 10 to 20 miles per hour as we move on through the afternoon. And we have a relatively low ceiling with a lot of areas in the MVR, MVFR and IFR levels. What that basically means is that it's the uh, measure of the ceiling for when planes land. So the lower the ceiling, the worse the conditions are. So if you get delays, that's one of the reasons why. We also have some fog here with some low level moisture. And notice we're starting to get some of these showers starting to pop up here and heavier rainfall off to our west. When we take a look at our latest surface map, this is a cold front. And then this wave of low pressure along the cold front is starting to intensify. Now, how do we know it's starting to intensify? Well, let's take a look at the radar. You see this sign right here when you start to see a low pressure system start to organize and basically the upper level dynamics are starting to support the development of that low pressure system, you start to see this signal right here on the radar of precipitation back building behind the cold front passage. So this low pressure system starts to organize, you start to see all this moisture getting drawn northward, notice an increase slow but steady of these showers and as we go on through the day these showers will increase in coverage and will impact the region now when we take a look at the infrared satellite picture you can see the cold cloud tops are pretty much focused with the cold front back here off towards the st lawrence river valley on through the eastern great lakes but recently we're starting to see some cold cloud tops starting to pop up down here as well as we go on through the day these cold cloud tops will increase in coverage as the lifting associated with this low pressure system starts to intensify. So we have moisture, we have lifting, we have a low pressure system heading right towards us, and that means you also have mixing in the atmosphere. So all of these factors come together to support the potential, or likelihood really, of very heavy rainfall and strong winds. But where? Well, let's dive into that forecast. When we take a look at the forecast for today, You'll see showers start to increase. There's our area of low pressure. Temperatures today in the lower to mid 70s. And it'll still feel kind of balmy and humid out because we have so much moisture in the atmosphere. Now tonight, around 8 p.m., the rain starts to pick up in intensity. Now notice where the cold front is and look where these low pressure systems are. By 1 a.m., that low pressure system is lifting up to around the Delaware water uh, area right around northeastern Pennsylvania and northwestern New Jersey. What's going to happen is that we're going to have very strong lifting along the coast. So right along the coast, look for intense heavy rainfall overnight with winds sustained at 15 to 30 miles per hour, gusts possibly reaching as high as 60 miles per hour, but most locations will have gusts over 40 miles per hour. Rainfall amounts generally one to two inches, but a few isolated locations will push to around three inches of rain. That's going to be for the Jersey Shore, Long Island, New York City Metro, and Connecticut. Now, for the Hudson River Valley and much of, let's say, western New Jersey, right along the Delaware River Valley, and on uh, eastern Pennsylvania, right along the Delaware River, we're looking at heavy rainfall. The winds aren't quite as strong, still 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusts over 30 miles per hour. Rainfall amounts still around 1 to 2 inches, but closer towards that 1.5 range. And then off to the west around the rest of eastern Pennsylvania on up through the Poconos, you're talking about more around a half an inch to an inch of rain. Winds aren't quite as strong because you're on the backside of the low pressure system. So wind veering off to the northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour at times gusting up to around 25 miles per hour. So clearly your focus is going to be right along the coast for your most significant impacts and the potential for some localized flash flooding, some minor wind damage, and yeah, maybe even some power outages. So by tomorrow morning, temperatures fall off into the upper 50s to lower 60s, and this is going to be a sharp cutoff. So about 8 a.m., most of the rainfall for the Philadelphia Metro and even New York City Metro is going to be coming to an end. By around 11 a.m., all of it's done for the entire region. So 
by the time we get to the afternoon, we get scattered cloud cover. Can't rule out an isolated shower, but I think for the most part, most locations will be dry. A bit breezy with temperatures rising into the upper 60s to lower 70s. On Thursday, another cold front moves through with a few isolated showers. Look for temperatures to range from the mid 50s to lower 60s for lows and mid 60s to lower 70s for highs. On Friday, yet another cold front moves through with a few scattered showers expected. Look for temperatures to range from the mid 50s to lower 60s for lows and upper 50s to lower 60s for highs. On Saturday and Sunday, high pressure will be in complete control with clear skies to scattered cloud cover. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid-30s to lower 40s over the interior, lower to mid-40s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s throughout the entire region. Now on Monday, we're watching an area of low pressure that is down towards the Western Caribbean and this low pressure system right here. Those two might interact here on Monday. And I think this might be a little bit more robust than what the maps are showing right here. I suspect we're dealing with a very heavy rain event, possibly also some strong winds. We'll have to see the development of this low pressure system. But I'm leaning towards some sort of hybrid or some sort of nor'easter type system on Monday that we're going to have to watch out for. Uh, with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 50s for lows and lower to mid 60s for highs. And on Tuesday, high pressure is in complete control with clear skies, lows in the mid 40s to lower 50s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast, and high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. For more details on the storm for tonight, and also that little bit of tropical mischief down in the Caribbean, definitely check out the premium video discussion, which I have the link right over here that you can totally check out. And it's only $11 a month. That is your forecast discussion for today. And as always, stay safe out there.